So the pocket depth mm -hmm. it is seven. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. Seven. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. Bleeding on the measure of four mm -hmm. and measure of three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number five is four. Mm -hmm. Num uh, number five, uh, buckle is three. Mm -hmm. Measure it is four. Mm -hmm. Test of four. Mm -hmm. Buckle three. Mm -hmm. Measure five. So mm -hmm. let me give you GM. Mm -hmm. We only have. Uh, mm -hmm. Pose. Zero of uh, five. Mm -hmm. Mr. of sorry, four. We did it, huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, five. Me zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, distal of six. Bleeding upon probing. Mm -hmm. Right. So the gingival margin here we have only the the number three, mm -hmm. and on the me zero it is uh, sorry buckle it is three. And the rest are zeros, zeros, okay. zero, zeros, okay? okay? Now, the micro-gingival line mm -hmm. on distal of number three, mm -hmm. it is three, mm -hmm. buckle three, mm -hmm. mesial six, mm -hmm. number four, mm -hmm. distal six, Buckle five, mm -hmm. mesial six, mm -hmm. number five, mm -hmm. distal seven, mm -hmm. buckle five, mm -hmm. mesial six, mm -hmm. number six, mm -hmm. distal six, mm -hmm. buckle six, mm -hmm. mesial seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop. So before we start any treatment, we always start by debriding the whole site. And here I'm using a piezo surgery on a perio setting. So obviously we numb everything. We are really going deep to remove all the debris. So the patient is under sedation, so that's why uh, you see all of these guards and uh, the precautions, we don't intubate. Okay, we can stop. We are doing a uh, perio. Uh, it's like the video that I posted on repair implant. We're gonna do repair perio. So we press on this and it gives you two 
uh, section. So step one to four, step five to eight. Step one to four, we have the outer, which it's the peeling. Then we can do gingivectomy if we want. We can do the epitalization inside, and then we go for hand history. So let's start with the outer one. So as you can see here, it's the RFPT5, which is the beige one, the beige one. So I'm gonna activate the laser. And I like to raise the power. So I go to this, I do it like that. Now we are ready and we come and we pick up the insert. So once the insert is picked up, I am going to check it and you can see the light here. So this one, it works in circle and center. So we're gonna start by the outer epithelium, which is like the peeling in derm. And you can see this white variation that takes place. The reason is that you wanna stop the epithelium from healing or delay the healing of the epithelium from not growing back into the uh, socket. And But what I like it the most is you can see this inflamed tissue here. I can reduce it. As you can see, I can peel it off from outside. Instead of doing a gingivectomy, I peel it off. And you can see, you can come closer, how I reduce this bulbous tissue. Look at this bulbous tissue here. The same thing I'm going to do. Again, look at this. Look at this bulbous tissue, how it disappears. Very significant what I'm doing right now because that's the inflamed tissue. And then I'm going to see this on the inside. So I don't like to do gingivectomies because I don't want the margins to show, especially there's a lot of sound. But look at this bulbous tissue. All inflamed, angry tissue. And we go down. So now we go to the next one. Let's do a little bit of gingivectomy, especially on the anterior teeth. Same tip, RPTF. I go to the power, I increase it, close it up. And now you can see here I have this not nice tissue. I can cut it off. Always with that movement. Don't forget, this insert works on sideways and center. Look how I can remove all of the tissue. Move it in. So basically, I'm carving the tissue. Okay. I'm done with the gingivectomy. A little bit here. On the buckle side. Okay, you can see now the difference in the way the teeth start looking, shaping up. And here I still see that it's too bulky. Yep. Okay, now we go to the third step, which is the intracellular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
like this, I increase it. I always like to increase the pressure because these are preset ones and they are not strong enough. And now I go inside the socket. As you can see, up and down, up and down. And I am touching the bone when I'm doing it. I am down to the bone. Yep. Look at it, look how I chose. You can see it through the tissue because I want to de epithelize and debride that inside of that tissue. So basically, I'm doing kind of a, an intracellular uh, cut. Move her to the, to the right side. Okay. You can see that all this inflamed tissue that is coming. And so. I'm just gonna do those three teeth to do the whole protocol and then I'll finish later on for the sake of time for the video. You see it is a very tedious work. Alright, I'm gonna go back here. And you can see now it's go back to the normal scaling and root planning. So I am gonna avoid doing a lot of tissue damage and I'm gonna revert to these. Now you can see I can go inside, I can see better and I use the piezo to do that. And I'm, I'm scaling with this basically with it without harming so much tissue. See, I can see the margins, I see the, the calculus. Okay, now I am going to go back to here and I'm going to shut the laser, go to the, the remaining steps. First step is going into the sulcus like we did before. This one, debatable, but I do that. And then we do another one and we finish. So we have four, three more steps to go. Again, it's already preset at 1.5. I find it that it's a low uh, energy. So I like to go a little bit higher to 2.75, 350. It's ready. It's still our FTT5. So I'm already set up for it. We're gonna come back.
So the purpose of this is to get everything, all the debris that they were inside, that they're still stuck inside to come out. Okay, now next step, bone decortication, so we are changing to MG6, so you this, you have to hit the bone only, so MG6, this is how you change the inserts, take them out, you go to the blue one, MG6, and this is the difference with this one and this one, this is straight point, it doesn't do a circle. And again, this is already set up to 250. I'll go a little bit to three, and then I come back here. Now this is gonna make it bleed because it's gonna decorticate the bone. So it's always on the bone, deep in the pocket. And so the reason is you create a bleeding point for it to flush better. And here I'm not seeing any intrabony defect. I know that there is one on number nine. So the chances that this patient, you know, uh, respond to the treatment is very high. So now I'm gonna finish this one. I go to the last step is the sulcular. We go back to RPTF. I'm gonna raise it. I'm gonna change the insert. RPTF is the beige one. Go back to it, and this is the one, pick it up, check the light, and come back here, and do this. And again, when I do this, I have to go up and down because I am doing also the soft tissue and the root. So I'll touch both of them as good as I can. A lot of patience with the laser. You have to navigate yourself between the tissue and the, the roots and look at it, it's still soft tissue coming out in plain ones and you have to put on the root as well as Okay, and with that, we finished those three teeth. I'm gonna continue the whole quadrant, but I don't wanna hold you back with that. Thank you.